little history right now. Now, Drake, you know, he released a statement talking about the blackface situation, explaining that he? he was trying to, yeah, on his IG story, he pretty much just, I'm just summarizing, he talked about how, like, him and another fellow actor back in 2007 was trying to make a statement about black actors. Okay, oh, and really? so that's what he, yeah, that's what he claimed. That's why he, that's that's what he was shooting for. Oh, that's his story. And then Pusha T was pretty much saying, and the, the argument has been raised that if that was in 2007, but since you've been out for the past something years, ten you, years, yeah, you haven't made any statement about black issues at all. You've been mum on that, and so you expect us to believe that you felt conscious then, but then all of a sudden it just kind of like stopped. Now, I know they got, they, you know, the beep and squash and all that. We're going to talk about all that. But my thing is, when it comes to the blackface situation, when Pusha T pointed that out, which stood out to me more so than the Sun situation, is that something we're believing Drake about? No, and I don't believe in it. I don't know. It may even have been just a bad joke gone wrong. I hope. I don't know. Well, not but a it, joke, it, it but he's claiming that he was trying to make a statement back then. Yeah, I haven't heard him say. Yeah. I haven't heard him talk about no, um, no problems really going on in the black community. Right, Ever. so it was almost like, I guess you maybe once upon a time. Well, here's a theory that I heard that I can probably run past you. You know, we forget that Drake, when he first came out, when he was on mixtapes and he was underground, he was a huge Little Brother fan, huge Little Brother fan. You know, he worked with Knife Wonder and Fonte and shouted them out a lot. But if you remember Little Brother's first album, official album, it was called The Minister Show. And remember, they were kind of on that by putting the smiley faces in the video. So there's a part of me like to think that, you know, maybe that's the his, that was his influence and he was feeling conscious at that moment. And maybe he just stopped once the checks are coming. Mm. You know, maybe, right? Yeah, that's, that's usually how it works. Yeah, you know, so maybe he was at that moment. I mean, when I saw the blackface, first thing I said was, I'm just going to go ahead and believe that this is some art going wrong. Like that's, I, I, I was already on that page anyway. But I do, you also got to uh, understand, too, the climate of, like, you know, Toronto, Canada, because they didn't have to deal with Jim Crow. So no. their situation is a little bit different. And as someone, I can tell that you. That was a free land. We was trying to get there. Well, as someone who grew up in Detroit and grew up, you know, interacting with people from Canada, they, some of them, not all, used to kind of look at us a little bit, kind of like, you guys think everything is racist. And we used to be like, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but there was always that. You guys, are, you guys are overreacting. We used to be like, no, like, no, we're not overreacting. Is that serious? Is that serious? But so there were a lot of things that we felt like we saw that they didn't see. That was my experience growing up on that side of town. So I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Um, with Drake, he's been quiet since then. But I will say this: that's the first time in hip hop battle we actually seen someone release a statement. So shout out for him. He always making history when it comes to the, um, you know, the, the sound clouds and everything. That that was definitely history he made right there. Yes. Leave it to Drake to Drake a battle. Drake. Drake.